No, I'm not. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm giving you guys a holiday soft glam look as you guys can see by the title. Please ignore my hair, okay? You guys know how I feel about bobs and I don't know why I did a bob on a day when I'm, or a lob, when I'm doing a red lip. That just wasn't very smart. But nonetheless, I absolutely love how my face came out. Like, let's get into it. Let's, let's just forget about the hair for a second. Let's just get into this face period. <laughs> so if you want to see how I created this look, what products I use, make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm super excited to be doing this makeup tutorial today because, you know, I'm giving holiday, so, well I'm trying, I ain't done it yet, trying to give holiday soft glam realness, okay? So um, I'm going to be doing a full face on camera. I kind of did my hair, but I don't think I'm going to include it because it was just a little struggly. Like I might include the clip somewhere in this video. Um, but this is a wig that I already had from Bell's Me Hair. I've had this for a long time. I just, you guys know how I feel about bobs. It's nothing to do with the wig. It's just, it's the bob for me, okay? But I was thinking like a nice like tousled look with a, with a red lip and a holiday glam would be so cute with this little like turtleneck situation. Like it's giving holiday, you know? Very sophisticated, very whatever. So, we're gonna get straight into this. I'm a hands ashy. Oh well. So I got my tea with me, you guys, because it's one of those days. I'm gonna start off with my brows and please disregard this headband. I literally just did my hair, so I'm kind of laying my frontal down as much as I can because I hope it looks right. Because I like tweaked it, but not too much. It's looking a little frontally, but it's very, very much voluminous and full. That's kind of the look I want to go for today, you know, very like effortless. But like, that's kind of what I'm going for. So anyways, um, I'm going to start off with my brows. And I kind of want to go back to my, sorry if it looks like I have, not sorry, because why am I sorry? <laughs> but it looks like I have a bald spot because I had a um, pimple in my brow. Remember I told you that? But I plucked the hair out of it and that was a real thick hair. So it like literally caused a gap because I think the hair was causing the pimple. So I took the hair out of the, ciao. So I'm gonna try to achieve my lighter brow. I don't really wanna do it too feathered, cause I, mm, I, I really do, but I don't have, I don't know. I think I forgot how to do my brows fluffy. I need to really just go ahead and get my brows laminated, cause I think my brows have completely grown out, so I can't even finesse it and brush it up. I need to just get my brows laminated again. But, regardless, we're gonna pull this back a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna scoot up, scoot up, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to lightly draw my brow. I'm using Max Fight um, brow pencil. I actually love it. So I don't even know why I never tried it, but I'm gonna like lightly fill in my brow because I don't want my brow to be too much. So I'm gonna just go ahead and. Do that. You see how easy it is to fill your brow in with this? Like what? And it doesn't look harsh. It literally looks like my brow hair. Like the color matches my brow hair exactly. So that's the most I'm gonna fill in my brows today. I don't wanna like overdo it. So, yeah. And I'm about to take some brow gel. One of them is new and one of them is not. Should probably throw away the old one, huh? But I'm gonna use some brow gel and just comb through that just so my brows are a little bit more defined. And this is a CoverGirl, um, Easy Breezy Brow Gel. I love it because the spoolie is so small. So I'm gonna be using my NARS concealer. I'm gonna be using um, Walnut and Caramel. I've never mixed the two, but I feel like right under my brow bone, I want it to pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna just 
go in with both of them underneath and walnut just on top because walnut is a little bit more toned down. It's not my skin tone, but it's more toned down. I'm just mixing it on the back of my hand. So now my brows are done and I actually like them today. I wish they were a little bit like more feathered, but you know, this is what I'm working with, so. I'm moving on to my eyes. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced concealer in the shade Butterscotch to prime my eyelids because I really like this concealer and I feel like it never does me dirty. So let's hope today is not one of those days. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my eyeshadow I mean my concealer and you don't want to swipe you just want to do padding motions and I'm kind of doing a nice thick layer because although I'm going for a more neutral look I do want it to pop and hopefully what I'm envisioning will translate today I'm praying so I'm just gonna take some powder and lightly set that you can take any powder I just grabbed what was ever in front of me, what was ever in front of me, whatever was in front of me. I'm just gonna lightly set that only because I just don't want no smoke today. I just want this look to be flawless. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Dose of Color shadows today. I'm gonna be using my Sassy Sienna's and my um, Frankation palette. I just think those are gonna work for what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna start off with my Morphe M505 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It is like a warm orangey brown and that's gonna act as my transition shade. And you see how it comes off more brown though? It's like perfect. Like this is like my favorite, favorite kind of brown. So I'm just gonna apply that in the crease. And because I set my concealer, it's kind of just gliding and doing exactly what I want it to do. So that is awesome. But I'm using a fluffy brush for this first because I just feel like this is supposed to be super blown out and just effortless. I'm not trying to do anything precise. And honestly, for this look, I'm not trying to do anything precise at all. So that's what we're doing. And you guys know me, I'm bringing it in to the bridge of my nose because I just really like that look. That gives you like the ultimate soft glam look in my opinion but everything isn't for everybody so if you try this and you don't like it doesn't mean you're doing it wrong it just is not for you <laughs> all right so this is what i'm working with so far um, i'm not really trying to stay in this super warm eye family but it's a transition so it's just going to help pull everything together and at the end you guys will see what i'm trying to do so next I'm gonna go into this darker shade in the same palette. I don't think, oh, they have names. So this is Brassy and this is Stay Sassy. And now I'm using my Morphe M330 brush and I'm literally just putting that in the crease and you guys can see it's more of a pointed brush versus this one, which is super like fluffy and um, spread out. This one is more tapered. And I'm just working that actually in my crease. I'm trying to stay in the crease versus the first shadow. I kind of like put everywhere. This one, I'm like literally just trying to stay in the crease, make sure that it's blending and is blending into the transition shade. So that's really the point of a transition color is for your other shadows to blend into it. And you can just keep building this up to your likings. It doesn't have to get this dark. You guys can make it even darker. Again, this is all your preference, but this I'm kind of going for a sultry look. Like I want to stick with the neutral and natural tones, but I'm just going to um, smoke it out just a little bit more than I normally would. And I just blend it, blend it, blend it, and it's all like, oh, love it. So this is this eye and that's that eye. We've used two eyeshadows and already it just looks like a completely different look. 
and also you don't want to like go in too much as you can see I'm gradually building up that shadow I'm going in with a little bit like I'm literally dabbing my brush in in the shadow and blending it then dabbing it again I'm not like digging the shadow in there and then being like oh my god it's too much it's too no you definitely want to gradually build your eyeshadows up so that you basically have control over your look and you can kind of see what direction you're going in and sometimes i'll just go back in with the first brush that i use with no extra product and just kind of blend out those edges and merge the two shadows together so i'm really loving the transitions on my eye i love ah. you guys are probably like tasha <laughs> it's brown <laughs> but now i'm gonna go in with this shade right here um this is called foxy and it's just a brown but it's more my skin tone so i'm gonna put oh it's a little orangey but i know what i want to do but anyways i'm just gonna place that all over my eyelid and i'm using this little brush that came with the palette it actually works really good for packing on the eyeshadows that's about it <laughs> But I feel like you can use anything to pack on eyeshadows. So I'm just laying this down, honestly, as my base because I know I want to go over this anyways because I don't want an orangey eye. That's not my goal today. Um, holiday look, red lip, yeah. So I'm just going to place that and then just kind of blend that and tone that down. All right. And that's going to kind of just give me a base because... With this next shadow that I'm going to use, I don't necessarily want that super white matte look. I just want a nice warm matte look. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is necessary. And I'm going to place that all over my lid as well. And just blending the two colors, it just makes the most perfect lid shade for me without it looking too white or looking too, I don't know. Sometimes I like that super matte look, but that's just not what I'm going for today. So do you guys see what I'm talking about? How it kind of like toned it down. It's not like that super white, stark eye. So that's the kind of look I'm going for. I don't want it to be perfect because I'm going for more of like an effortless. Like I feel when I think of soft glam, I don't think super precise. I think really like smoked out, you know, really airy type of type of vibe so that's what I'm going for so now we're gonna go on to this face I'm gonna go back to the eyes in a minute but I'm gonna be using this Mac time check lotion um, I just got this the other day and I'm still trying to figure out if I like it or not I do love how it feels on my skin but I'm not sure how I feel about it as a primer so I'm just gonna keep getting a feel of it it feels it smells good when you pump it out but when you start to blend it out it has this little smell to it and I don't like that. But it definitely, like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person, it definitely blurs my skin out. And I really, really like that. And because I'm going to be using a lot of powders and a lot of matte kind of products, I want my foundation to not be like on my face. So now I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, Y'all already know how this goes. It's supposed to grip my foundation, but it's also hydrating. So again... I don't want my foundation looking ashy. Like, it's like really weird. I like a matte look, but sometimes on us brown girls, it's not very flattering. So for today's foundation, I'm gonna be using my NARS Soft Matte. I like kind of straight away from it for like 0.2 seconds, but I'm gonna give it a try again because I feel like the last time I used it, I felt kind of like ashy, but it could do with my skin prep and stuff. Um, so that's why I'm just kind of switching things up just slightly. So we're gonna give it another try again. So I'm using my Juno & Co sponge to apply. And this is in the shade Marquises. Marquise, I'm not using Macau. Macau is absolutely too yellow. This is a little bit more, this literally is like a perfect match. So just using that with my sponge and I should have waxed my upper lip. Oh my gosh. And look at the coverage. Like I feel like this is the best coverage foundation I have. Like I just love the finish. I love the coverage does what I need her to do. She's buildable, like, uh, love it. So this is my base and I absolutely love it. This is literally my favorite foundation, like for real. I'm gonna be going in with my dose of colors in the shade Dark 25. 
and I'm gonna apply that under my eyes because it's closest to my skin tone. I like to use a concealer that's close to my skin tone and then I like to highlight in certain areas just to brighten me up a little bit. And I'm just gonna let that sit for about a minute, 60 whole seconds, you guys. And then I'm gonna blend it out because it's, it's really wet. It's more wet than I remember. So I'm gonna just let it do its thing, okay? So that's the first layer of concealer blended out. And I absolutely love this. I haven't used this concealer in a little minute, but it looks good, okay? And now I'm gonna be going in with my Born This Way Concealer, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I always say Born This Way as if the brand is not Too Faced. Woo! But I'm gonna go in and highlight certain areas and I'm just gonna um, highlight like this because I've been dragging it down too far, clearly. So I'm just gonna go like this. And of course I had to bring it on the sides of my nose because you want to give the illusion of contour without having to over contour and yeah and then I can just highlight any other area that I want so yeah now I'm gonna let that sit for like three minutes uh, I want it to get really really tacky so that when I blend it out this brightness stays so yeah you can you know blend it out immediately you can wait one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. I'm gonna wait a while and then I'm gonna come back and blend it out. And letting it sit just lets the concealer get a little bit thicker and more full coverage so that basically where you placed it, it's just going to kind of keep that look. I could have probably left it on for a little bit longer, but we must move on. And I'm going to be using my Chanel setting powder with the same sponge. You guys, use that. You guys, I use my sponge a lot because I don't like to use too many brushes. So that's just what I do. And I'm going to press this in. And this powder baby gives you the ultimate snatched like look at the difference what like this powder just does something and I just oh my gosh <laughs> okay you see how my face is sitting baby so now I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish powder wait airbrush flawless finish powder in D4 and I feel like I don't know, they need a shade in between this because I feel like this kind of is a little bit a weird tone or too dark, I don't know. Um, and I feel like the one before this is too light, but I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get it anyways just to like see what I like. But I'm just gonna use this because I really do like the finish. It definitely gives you that soft glam look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna be using two bronzers. <gasps> No, I'm not. I'm not using two bronzers today. Wow, I did not know that was broken. That's crazy. I'ma still use it though. There's, I picked up some. Wow, I got, wow. I'm gonna use Coco Naughty first <laughs> because it's more of like a neutral bronzer and I really do like Coco Naughty. Wow, um, I have to buy another one. Gives me a reason to go to Sephora. <laughs> when Fenty's coming out with new powders, I cannot wait to get those. I'm probably just gonna get it at the same time. I'm trying to limit my um, Sephora and Ulta runs because they're a bit excessive. So when those powders come out, then I'll get a new Fenty bronzer because I haven't used it already in months. So whatever. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze with this first. It kind of was just gonna give me depth, more of a shadow because it's more neutral instead of warming up my face so much, but like very slightly. And I want a softer, um, like bronze or cheek area because my lip is gonna be so bold or bold for me. So I just kind of want to tone it down a little bit on the face. I still want to be snatched, but 
You know, you can't do everything all the time. And my eyes are already pretty intense um, for me wearing a bold lip. Because the thing is, I don't like wearing a red lip with nothing on my eyes. But I don't like too much shadow either. It's literally the weirdest, most backwards thing, but it works. So now I'm going to go into my Kylie bronzer in Tawny Mommy. And I'm going to bronze up so this gives me the warmth but it's not super harsh it's very very soft and very very buildable so do you see that how light it's just like oh, i just love this bronzer so much i'm actually gonna take coco naughty to snatch my nose or what's left of it <laughs> and i'm gonna do that because i used to only use coco naughty on my nose and i still only stand coco naughty on my nose but i just haven't picked up these bronzers in a while because i was buying so much other stuff i'm like let me try the stuff that I actually have and I like to bring that bronzer into the brow because it kind of softens the front of the brow and it just connects because naturally it's all connected anyway so if you just do two lines it's gonna look kind of weird I mean depends on your nose shape of course but typically if you just do two lines it looks super contoured when you connect it it just looks still snatched but more natural so I'm just gonna let that sit because it's gonna brighten those areas. When you, whenever you let anything bake, it's gonna automatically brighten those areas. Now I'm gonna use some blush, and this is always spicy by Elf. This kind of looks like raisin, but the formula of this is just a little bit more subtle. So again, I don't want my cheeks to be super intense. So that's why I'm going in with something a little bit lighter. It's literally the same color, but um. It's infused with something. It's like primer infused, so something about it just doesn't like scream blush, but it still gives me color, you know? So I'm not gonna use this liner for my top liner because honestly, this liner is just too, it just stays too much, and I don't, I, I just can't deal with that today. <laughs> I can't. I think I got some of my eye. I'm gonna line my top line but I'm not gonna wing it out and then I'm gonna smoke it out so that it gives it more of a softer look. I don't know how I'm gonna execute it, but I am, I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna try to keep it really thin in the inner corner and then kind of make it thick so that it kind of lifts my eye up a little bit. So just, just watch, okay? Oh, and this is the NYX um, eyeliner, by the way, the matte one. And I'm not ending it, it's literally, I don't know if you can see up close, it's just kind of floating because I'm gonna end up smoking it out anyway and I don't wanna end the liner and then it, it looks too, too winged out or too perfect, so. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Well, all the way. This liner dries so matte, like when it's already dried in the matte areas, it just looks so freaking good. Technique that I'm gonna use, it would seem like it would make sense to let this work with it when it's wet but because it's a liquid liner you can literally smudge and mess up you can literally end up smudging and messing up your whole liner look so i'm gonna let this dry down all the way and then smoke it out but if you use like a gel liner you can definitely you know work with it a little easier but i don't use gel liner so i'm working with what i got okay so now that my liner's dried i'm gonna go into my dose of colors frankation palette and i'm gonna go into this darkest brown and I'm just basically gonna like soften that liner up. I'm gonna go over it and I'm just gonna kind of smoke it out. I should have done black, huh? That was pretty dumb of me, <laughs> but I'm gonna go in actually with the black and I'm gonna apply that and then smoke it out with the brown. That's what I should have done. Or honestly, I really like how this looks. I just don't want like a super harsh line. I just wanted it to be very, very soft. Ooh. Now I'm gonna, where's my brush? I'm gonna dust away this powder and this eyeshadow fallout. 
just to make sure there aren't any harsh lines, I'm just gonna go back over with my big fluffy brush and just kind of make sure everything's blended together. I did not add any product. If you feel like there's a part that's too harsh and you really want to tone down, go back in with your powder. But I do not need to do that, I don't think. I'm gonna add some mascara to get rid of that ashiness off of my lashes. Okay, maybe I might add a little bit of brown underneath. I'm really against this right now but I think it might do a little something. So I'm gonna go back and forth with these. This is churro and jeans, and I'm just gonna drag that on my bottom lash line. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so y'all already know, I'm gonna be using my Fenty afternoon snack in Mo Honey, and I'm just gonna highlight the tip and the bridge of my nose. And then I just kind of sweep it up and diffuse. That's a bit much, isn't it? But I'm not gonna do my face because I don't like that. I don't, I really don't. So now I'm gonna apply my lashes. I'm gonna be using my high maintenance kitty lashes because they're perfect. They're just short and cute. Did I mess them up? Oh no, you guys, I messed them up. But we gonna use them anyway. <laughs> and I'm gonna apply those and be right back. So now for the lips, um, I'm gonna be doing a red lip. I can't promise that I'll keep it on because y'all know how I get, okay? But I'm gonna be lighting my lips with MAC Chestnut um, only because I do feel like I need a little contrast. But in the past, whenever I've done reds, I opt to do like Night Moth, really deep colors, even black I've done, and that's just not necessary. So I'm gonna use Chestnut to line my lips before I use this red. I think, I think I'm gonna use this one. Yikes, okay. And I'm gonna blend this out a little bit so it's not as harsh, but I think this is gonna be just dark enough. I feel like I just always overdo stuff. And I'm looking crazy. So, I'm gonna, you know, for some reason, I literally do not know how to line my bottom lips. It's actually embarrassing. You know, it probably wasn't smart to wear lip color the day I have a mustache, just saying. So. That's what I'm working with. And now I'm gonna try this color. Um, my friend Austin suggested this to me because I like a really bright red. I feel like the reds are just too toned down on my lips. So I'm gonna try this. Um, this is the Morphe Hot Shot, but one second. I knew I bought a, another red, but I couldn't figure out. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna apply this Sephora um, Always Red. Is that the color? I think it's called Always Red. This is the shade, yep it is. This is, this is Sephora lip stain. I know you guys have all tried this. I like this way better than Ruby Woo. I know everybody stands Ruby Woo, but I just feel like it's too deep of a red. It's not bright enough for me or on my complexion. Um, and it's too dry. It's just, it's just not that girl to me. I'm so sorry. I want to like it, but I just don't. So <laughs> I'm going to apply this one first because I'm more familiar with this one. And if I want to brighten it a little bit, I'm going to go over it with the Morphe one. So <sighs> so scared. Like, I just think a nude lip would just look so nice. I really do. And I'm gonna let that dry. Do you guys see what I mean? Like, red just looks so gross on me. Like, there's nothing about this that I like right now. I'm not even gonna hold you. I don't like it at all. See, it looks better now that it's drying, but lord so now that it's completely dry i'm gonna go on top of it with the other liquid lipstick i do not like to layer lipsticks when well liquid lipsticks when they're still wet because it's just gonna move around and shift around unless you're literally mixing the colors don't do that i know for sure i want like really the center to pop out more so that's why i'm doing it like that so i'm gonna put this on top you guys see that that's red So you see how it's like subtly an ombre? Like very subtly. Not like Night Moth to Ruby Woo. It's like a nice transition. All right, so this is my red lip. I absolutely hate it, to be honest with you. It's not terrible, but like I just don't like lipstick, you guys. I'm 
trying hold on I just don't like lipstick. I'm trying to be that girl for you guys, but it's just not, it's just not me. I just don't know. And it, this, it doesn't help that I wore a bob today. Like, <laughs> Tasha, what were you thinking? So I'm about to take this scarf off, see if I need to fix my hair, and I will be right back. Okay, so this hairline is not giving. I told y'all that I did not pluck my hairline and I regret it now because I finally do a red lip and it, the wig is just not giving. It's not giving what I need her to give or what she could give, you know what I'm saying? Like this needs a more natural hairline. But let's get into this face though. Let's just forget the hair for a second and get into the face. It's a look, okay? All right guys, so I fixed my hair. I think it looks a little, a little better, okay? It's giving more wearable. <laughs> So um, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did have a fun time doing this look because you guys know I don't really do color lips and stuff. And I have so many looks in mind for this new year. Like after Vlogmas, y'all, we gon' get it, okay? It's about to be so fun on this channel. So again, make sure you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for everybody who's subscribed to my channel so far. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.